Bose brings acclaim to the team, but the military still refuses to reveal identities of those on the mission, not even to the president when he visits them soon after. One of history's questions will be, will we ever know exactly who pulled the trigger on Osama bin Laden? President Obama doesn't even know. He asked, you know, he was told by a member of the unit, just assume that we all did. Divulging names would invite retaliation, not only against the SEALs, but also against their families. Families that have long made sacrifices in the name of national security. My son was, I don't know, two and a half before he even knew who daddy was. SEALs say the divorce rate is as high as 90% for first marriages. Most SEALs are gone more than 200 days a year. Don and Diane Shipley have managed to beat the odds. And we're running around with our hair on fire. Uh, we are running around the world with machine guns. You know, we're having a great time being SEALs. And the wives are back here at home dealing with the kids. The toilet's overflowing. Everything that can happen is going to happen to them. It's a very thankless job. It's very tough on them. Don and I have been married for 30 years, and I have not one time ever delivered bad news to him, no matter how bad it was. You got to keep them focused so that they can do their job. SEAL wives tend to stick together. Most live in the communities near the SEAL bases in Dam Neck, Virginia, and outside San Diego. Whatever they know, they cannot share with anyone on the outside. You really don't talk about what they're up to, and if you ever do make the mistake, you're shut down pretty quick. Team 6 founder Richard Marcinko used to give the wives parameters of what they could divulge about their husband's work. I used to bring the girls in, the, the wives, in once a year on a Saturday for coffee and donuts, and I would tell them, this is what you can tell them. Every time a Navy SEAL walks out the door, he knows it could be his last time. To this day, those who have served say it was worth the risk. I enjoyed every minute I was on the team, and what I enjoyed the most is the people around me. I enjoyed the honor and privilege of leading my team. I would go back in a heartbeat. I'd pay to go on vacation with a SEAL platoon back overseas. There's no doubt about it. When the day comes for Navy SEALs to retire, and it always does, it's a tough gig to follow. They often stick to the work they know, going into business for themselves as military contractors. You're not going to find SEALs packing boxes at Home Depot. You know, they're not out there pumping gas. The guys become entrepreneurs. They got to keep their foot in the door being a badass one way or another. There will always be covert work to be done, secrets that need to be kept, and men willing to keep them, the men of SEAL Team 6. There are nations 911 force, and, and I think we should leave it at that. I think the individuals themselves should remain faceless, and I think we all should do our part to make sure that, that, that that's done. That's enough to know they're there.